And tonight we're getting a closer look at the rifle similar to the one stolen from a Foley pawn shop. Now police recovering one of those seven weapons, an AR-15. They say they found it in the possession of a juvenile who was involved in that robbery. Our Baldwin County reporter Michael Warwick joining us live from Foley Police Department. Michael, police are telling you that the theft doesn't appear to be gang related. That's right, Lanise, but they say it appears to be money related. The theft of those seven long rifles, according to gun shop owners, brings a value of close to $2,500. Using bricks and kicks to break into Gulf Gun and Pawn, three thieves steal rifles and run. They're speaking English, it's just hard to understand them. Police releasing this photo of one of two suspects still out there. Moses Isaiah Horace, just 18 years old. Now what the owner at Gulf Gun and Pond told me was that the thieves got away with seven guns. One AR-15 that Drew at TNT Guns and Ammo was happy to show us. That's what it looks like. And six 22s look the same. This one goes for about $600, $700. This one about $300, $400. Foley police say surveillance video crucial in making one arrest that they hope turns into three and the recovery of each stolen weapon. But to catch the juvenile uh, in this case, police raided a home, found marijuana, also found a handgun. The FBI is involved in this case. Of course, if you know anything about this crime, contact police. We're live here in Foley. I'm Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News.